What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range again. Been out here all day doing a lot of interesting testing, having some fun, and this one right here should be another good one. Of course, we got the jelly contraption set up. I got the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now, this block we're working with in the front up here doesn't have any tests done on it. It does have a few stray tracks from tests in this previous block. I'll leave some links up above if you hadn't seen those, but it should be plenty of room in this first one where we can put these things in it and tell what's going on. Now, what we're checking out on this one is a couple of rounds that we've tested in the past in different ways uh, but the only one I have as a head-to-head -head against these two is an older one where I believe it was with that older gel I used to use and, and not near as much data and stuff so I figured it was time for an updated one and we might as well do it with the heavy clothing test. So we got the Federal Premium HST 124 grain versus the Federal Punch in 124 grain. Both of these rounds some pretty popular carry options so it should be pretty interesting to see what they do through this cloth. And Speaking of cloth, this is my heavy clothing test. I've got one layer of fleece, one layer of denim, and two layers of cotton t-shirt material. So that's going to be our testing material. Now as for the tool, we're using the Taurus GX4 with a three inch barrel. These little three inch barrel nines are very popular right now. So I figure I might as well use this one to see what we get out of two of the more popular rounds. So this one ought to be very interested. I'm really curious to see how this punch is going to perform through the clothing. Uh, if y'all hadn't seen a 38 special test that I've done through clothing, check that thing out it was some pretty surprising results out of the punch but that's enough talking about it let's get this stuff set up and let's get started all right y'all let's get us some speed and see what we're working with i'm gonna do a three round average from each one of them gonna start with the hst first let's see what they can do out of this little gx4 got 1031 1028 and 996 so that last one was a little bit low let's go check that average all right so the three round average from our hst is 1018 feet per second and that's including that slow one at the end so really not too bad at all for 124 grain out of a three inch barrel but let's get this reset and let's check out them punch all right here we go with three rounds of the punch got 1023 1036 and 1022 so some nice speeds on those let's check the average out all right so our three round average from the federal punch was 1027 and if you remember on them hsts it was 1018 so you're talking about only nine feet per second difference between these two rounds nine feet per second faster from the punch and honestly that's probably only because of that weird low third round we took with the hst i'd say for all intents and purposes these things are probably moving about the same speed but the jelly's where the rubber meets the road so let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's family feud jelly time i'm gonna put one round of each down into the gel we're gonna start with the hst first it's so tricky targeting my spot with that dark fleece but we'll make the best of it all right i believe that was a good hit let me go down there and make sure All right, y'all, so far so good down there. The HST did what the HST does. It just performs, period. So let's try out this punch. I'm a little worried about this punch, I ain't gonna lie. We'll try to put this one up under that HST if I can. All right, I'm not sure where that one went. Let me go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. Definitely happy about what I'm seeing from both of these rounds. The one up top here, that's the HST. As you can see, comes in, makes a fantastic wound channel. Very nice disruption. You can tell it did carry some of that material into the gel with it. Comes on out here, just into the second block, maybe about an inch and stops there. Looks like it's got some pretty nice expansion on it also. And then of course, down here below it, that's your Federal Punch. Again, nice wound channel, nice disruption going on. On down there carries on through the block here i do see some material with it also and stops right here facing forward and it is expanded but definitely not expanded as much as it would in bare gel now as far as penetration on it 
like I said, the HST, it's exactly 17 inches, 17 inches on the HST. And then your punch down here is about an eighth over 15 inches. So very nice penetration on both of them. I'll give you a quick overhead look here on the right. That's the HST on the left is the punch. So definitely a noticeably bigger wound channel and disruption from the HST, but the punch did very nice as well. Neither one of them is a failure at this point that I can see the punch down on the bottom HST HST right there up on the top. All right, let's take a look at these projectiles, y'all. So on the right here, that's the HST. On the left is the punch. And you can see a big difference in expansion here. Here's the HST. It's got some denim in front of it, clogging it up there, and it still managed to expand. So that's a very, very nicely engineered round right there. Now the punch on the other hand, not terrible, but definitely not nearly as nice of a performance. It did expand some. Looks like it expanded about halfway, as you can see there. About half of it didn't open up. I would say it probably clogged with some material and then pushed it on out and opened up some so to me that's definitely acceptable performance right there but again not nearly as nice as that hst but let's get some weights on them and see what they got they both started at 124 the punch is at 1 24.0 so 124 on the dot for the punch the hst is 124.4 so the point four must be that little bit of denim it picked up there all right let's check out the expansion we'll start with the punch first this one's going to be definitely inconsistent uh this way right here we got 481 556 and 443 so nice expansion on that one just not very even not very consistent all the way around and then for our HST, we got 599, 591, and 601. So very, very nice, consistent, symmetrical expansion on that HST. But there you have it, y'all. A couple of the more popular 9mm rounds, the HST and the punch. Uh, I think, obviously, it goes without saying, based on this test right here, the HST definitely takes the win. Very, very nice expansion, even though it did pick up some denim. Very, very nice penetration on it. Now, that being said, the punch, I wouldn't kick it to the curb on this test. It got expansion, plenty of expansion in my book, and very nice penetration along with some nice wound action. All right, y'all, that right there is gonna wrap it up for another very interesting nine millimeter test. Like I said, I've tested both of these rounds in the past separately and against other rounds, and I think I may have put these against each other in an older test where, you know, I wasn't quite as streamlined as I am now, and it definitely wasn't with cloth. So it's very interesting to see what that HST and punch did through the cloth. Again, in my opinion, I think both of these rounds perform plenty adequate out here, but it's no question that the winner here would be the HST. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this test what do you think about the performance out of both of these rounds going through the claw if you did enjoy this video take a second and hit that thumbs up button down below subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new stuff take a second like i always ask and check out my affiliate links down in the video description you know the deal with that amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first you go straight through amazon like normal from there don't cost you any extra money at all and anything you buy on the site after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel the same goes for those axle links if you're looking for some fantastic ear pro hit those links up down there and you can save a pile of money instead of going straight through their site as always i appreciate all my range gang members for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching these videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and like i said leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about these two rounds i've been doing a lot of interesting tests out here so make sure y'all stay tuned for some really good stuff coming y'all's way and in the meantime stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.